Well, that in front there is the rock. That's Gibraltar. Very strange, you don't get any signs for Gibraltar until you actually make pretty much one of the last turns. You're within about five miles of it. You don't see any signs for it coming down or anything. Just when you turn off the main dual carriageway. In 500 yards, the roundabout, take first exit towards Gibraltar. Wow, the sea looks absolutely stunning. Looks really, really pretty. Steve, you're going to have to... Uh, we've just reached our park-up point for Gibraltar which uh, overlooks the harbour um, there's us and the battered van and this is what we're looking out onto how spectacular is that uh, we're just on our way across now to Gibraltar so we'll take a little bit of a walk and a look around looks absolutely stunning First thing to greet you when you come through customs. On, on Winston Churchill Avenue. Right, to get into uh, Gibraltar, once you've uh, gone through customs, you then have to walk across the runway. Here, which is uh, a bit strange, but I don't think they have too many flights coming and going. Yeah. So this is the uh, runway for the planes. It was right across the road and up there. Oh, right in the middle of the runway. So it's Gibraltar, cradle of history. There are some uh, gun emplacements for a battery. Originally the only way into Gibraltar Point. So originally this was all the only way in to Gibraltar. There you go, there's your Marks and Spencers. And uh, there's your flats above. So they probably live in one of them.